Hi friends, today I am with the ASUS Chromebook and in this video I am going to answer what questions you have asked us and I am trying to answer all the things. So starting first, can you set up a ASUS Chromebook or any Chromebook without internet? So I will show you directly because I will not answer you verbally. Here you can see it shows the Wi-Fi connection, what are the available Wi-Fi connection and if I press next it will not work. Uh, you can't press a tab so you have to get an initial connection when you are first setting up your asus chromebook or your any chromebook now giving the uh, wi-fi password here you can see the next question it asks that is it a child using or is it a person or an adult will be using so just press next after that uh, once you have done with that you have um, your account gmail account just sign up with that once you sign up with that then you come to the next screen and I skip that part of putting my email ID and everything because I guess you guys know. Then you just go and accept all the terms and condition and once you've done that it will ask for the Google Play services and apps just put OK then accept it and once it is done it will take some time to do the setup. Just be a little bit patient to let it set up initially it will take some time and once it is done you can go ahead and do the next thing so once you come here uh, there is a perk what you are getting in the ss chromebook it is that you are getting a three month subscription of youtube premium here you can see the perk i am just have to get the perk just press that and you can claim your youtube premium subscription currently i am already using a youtube premium subscription so i can't avail this offer but if you are new to the youtube premium subscription or your premium subscription has already ended you might also avail this offer so this is um, absolutely a beneficial offer what you are getting for your youtube premium service with your asus chromebook so this is kind of a perk what you are getting and you can see in premium you will skip ad both for the youtube music and also for the youtube so definitely it is an added advantage you get it for free and also uh, you can download the video so that is also something you get in the youtube premium subscription here is also you can go directly with the perks from the left side of the tab so just press the tab and you are get good to go now the next question arises and many of you have asked that does the chromebook start without internet so what will i do first i will switch off the internet here you can see the internet connection is turned off and you can log in without internet so currently i have shut down the pc and i will switch it on and i will show you can i log in so the answer is very easy i will definitely like you guys to see it from your eyes and how to log in so just have to press the power button even uh, some of you peoples have also asked that uh, how is the, what is the boot time it is less than 10 to 12 seconds it is kind of a hibernate uh, what you use in your windows laptop something like that it doesn't take much time to get boot so once you are into login screen you have to put the password of your gmail and still i don't have a pro inter active internet connection but i can log in so this the answer is here without internet connection you can still log in into your chromebook into the apps i have in installed some of the apps and i will definitely love to show you those apps but without internet can you run the youtube no you can't run the youtube even i have checked that in the youtube you can't download also so the download option is not present in the youtube um, for this but if you talk about the other apps like netflix amazon prime you can download offline videos you can download them and watch them without internet currently you can see the internet wi-fi connection is switched off i will switch it on the wi-fi connection and after that i will show you how to download the netflix video and how can see that similar you can do that for also amazon prime it takes some time once the netflix is logged in go to your account and here i will just see a content and a random content i will download uh, one episode or something and i will show you how it works so in the bottom you can see there is home there is download button and there is more on the top if you go there is search button just go and search whatever you want to search it so currently i will search 
He-Man I mean I will download one episode of He-Man so that you guys can see the episode how it downloads it is very easy it will not take time so I went directly to the movie but I want to download an episode from the He-Man new series so you can download entire series or you can download any episode whatever you like the number of episode it will not take much time because of a faster internet connection it de definitely depends on your internet connection speed so don't compare that that i am getting a faster speed to download and you are getting a less faster speed to download on the same netflix so now i will just switch off my internet connection and once it is done i will play the heman episode and here you can see it plays normally and very smoothly it plays in hd video fhd video and the video is there you can check out the video and you can play that very smoothly like it doesn't have an internet connection but it plays normally like it has an internet connection now coming to the next question what you guys have asked is uh, opening a pdf editing in a pdf or in a doc file so yes you can do that i will show you my internet connection is switched off and correctly i am opening a pdf file and it can open very easily if you want to edit you can do that too coming to the docs here i am opening a doc file and this is a um, file open in the google docs and you can similarly do that for microsoft office also so there is no issue in editing offline or checking out your documents or maybe your pdf file so this can be done you can edit also you can do the input also and you can make the changes also going to the next question that what are the apps you can use you have some pretty much number of apps which you want us to access so there is a camera i will talk about the camera later on you don't have to install any media player as for video player you get vlc pre installed in that you also get a canvas this is a google cam canvas camera app in this this is basically a paint but it is not a windows app so it is a just a google app you can go and edit you can paint you can use the brushes and whatever you want to do now coming to the main three apps which you guys are concerned it is just teams microsoft teams currently this is a microsoft team you can access that i have switched off internet currently i am switching it on and you can go sign in and you can use the microsoft team also now after team you guys have also asked that google meet will run or not yes you can run the google meet and there is a pre uh, app uh, you can install it from the google play store now the last one is the zoom so you can also do the zoom meeting in this asus chromebook you have a app in the google play store you don't have to go and download the apk or something like that it is very easy go to the play store and download that even few more apps are also present some of you have also asked about the ln plus yes the ln plus app is there i don't have a login or password so i can't do that but yes ln plus app is available in the google play store these are the main three apps which you guys have asked us and you can use them access them now coming to the camera quality we will definitely talk uh, there is a the mx player online i have installed that and the problem with is with this player is that it has a mobile kind of resolution it doesn't come with a landscape mode it is just in the portrait mode i tried to play before playing definitely it will ask the language preference i will put that and once it is done i will try to play any video and if i play it will not zoom or maximize stress to the screen which is definitely a little bit odd so the mx player online is not working here and i will try and search the another alternative app for that because you guys definitely have asked a lot about the mx player also currently i am trying to stretch it to full screen but it is not working like that so now this is done i will go to the google play store i will search the mx player uh, now going for the normal mx player uh, i have already installed the mx player online this is the mx player normal version so this is the main version of mx player i will install this give it some time once it is the installation is done i will try and play it in that mx player how it works and does it have the still similar problems now mx player online i will uninstall it so uninstall can be done very easily in your chromebook as the uninstall is done here you can see the mx player is also installed it looks like it will be in the full screen so just let's play it out allow it 
so for playing any file or video it can definitely do that but if you go to the video section it will again switch to the mobile view it will be in the portrait view here you can see and i will try to play any video and in this video we will also see that it will stretch to full screen or not currently it is asking about the language preference what the mx player online have also asked us so definitely not a different thing it has a similar kind of interface once the everything is load i just played a normal video and in this i will try to make it stretches to full screen and once the video is loaded i'm trying to make it stretch it to full screen but it is not happening and it does support the pip mode but it doesn't have a full screen view display now you guys have also asked that can it run a video file from pen drive or can it run a music file i don't have a music file currently but i will try to run a video file and i will show you this is just a pen drive i am just trying to play a movie and here i am playing it works very smoothly without any internet connection so that is the great thing you don't need a internet connection to play your video files and i will also show you that the internet connection is switched off now talking about the camera everyone has asked about the camera quality i will try to show you what are the camera what you are getting in the specs here you can see if you are clicking the shutter button it takes some time to capture the photos so that is definitely there is a little bit delay if you talk about the square picture you can get a square pictures for instagram and you can also click videos here you have the video option you can just go and start the video and there is a high so you can go click the video you can stop that now going to the settings you have the flip mode in the mirror effect you can go that you can switch on or switch off the grid you have the timer you can switch it on or off you also get a mic now coming to the photos here you can see the main focus where you can put your face and it will focus on that part only you can't manually change the focal point so um, coming to the settings here you can see there is a three grid option 3 is to 3 4 is to 4 and the golden ratio the three options are there coming to the time duration you have a 3 second and 10 second timer and talking about the photo resolution there is some photo resolution 16 is to 9 4 is to 3 and one more coming to the video quality it records maximum up to hd 720p video resolution now some of you will definitely ask is there any delay or not so the camera capture there is there is delay in capturing the camera but there is not lag while moving or making a video now coming to the camera quality i found some pixelation there some noise there so camera is definitely up to not up to the mark and asus may give you a better camera in the next version but those who are looking for a normal camera users definitely they can go that that it is not that bad but it can go with normal users you can work around with the camera you can open the files you can check the camera photos you can go there is a camera folder you can check out all the photos or the videos what you have captured there it will be stored in that folder only so i guess i have answered all the questions what you guys have asked us in the previous two videos if you guys have any more questions you can ask in the comment section and i will definitely try to answer them So this is all about in this video of Asus Chromebook working without internet connection. So this is Vivin signing off. Please like the video, share the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for us.